thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. It gives me pleasure to talk about the investment uh, policy reforms that's taking place at the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. Uh, we have seen, we all have seen, that the Fijian economy has been experiencing unprecedented levels of su sustainable economic development and growth. Fiji has achieved nine consecutive years of growth, and we hope that if there is no cyclone, we will be witnessing a decade of positive growth in 2019. We are very much in line with our five-year and 20-year national development plan. The vision is to maintain the sustained annual real GDP growth rate at an average of 4% to 5% to maintain investment level of 25% of GDP. And we are very much in line with that. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the Fijian government's investment in the enabling infrastructure and by providing stability and security, we have attracted both foreign and domestic investors to come to our show and invest in our economy. It is now time for the Fijian government to focus on having a dynamic private sector that invests, innovates, and creates jobs. The government's vision is to develop new areas for investment, such as business process outs outsourcing, we call it BPOs, knowledge-based industries, new age manufacturing, and high-end retail to support our tourism sector. Since Fiji is going through a second phase of sustained economic growth, it is time for us to decide the types of investment that we require to enhance the growth potentials. Now, in order to attract investment that will create new industries and boost exports, this is an opportune time for us to review the current investment landscape. In this regard, the Ministry and the World Bank, uh, in particular IFC, is now reviewing the legal framework and they're developing a comprehensive investment policy through an investment reform map. The revised legislation will be expanded to include both domestic and foreign investment, as opposed to the current law that focuses only on foreign investments. The key features of the revised legislation will include investors' rights and obligations, national treatment test, dispute settlement mechanism, and investment incentives. This will make the legislation more robust and responsive to the needs of investors while ensuring that investors fulfill their obligation as per the laws of EG. Roles of all relevant investment-related agencies will be redefined and strengthened. This is actually being undertaken by the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism by using the digital platform for the building approval processes and other approval processes that are required for an investor to set up his or her business in Fiji. Investment Fiji will focus on promoting Fiji as an ideal investment destination and pursue desirable and high value investment and attract more multinationals. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Ministry with IFC has undertaken consultation with relevant stakeholders such as key government departments, industry organizations, civil society, uh, and uh, they have come up with a draft legislation and investment policy statement. The consultation started in November 2017 and it is still uh, uh, it is still under progress. <clears throat> Just in January 2019, uh, a cabinet paper was presented where we have formed a task force to monitor the progress of this reform. Now, as we work on the legal framework, 
we will also undertake the development of a comprehensive investment policy. Investment policy is very, very important because that will set the guideline uh, as to how we should proceed in attracting high-value export-oriented investment into the country. Mr. Speaker, sir, the review of the legal framework is expected to be completed and submitted to the Cabinet by this year. And at the end of the process, we will have a simple yet effective legal framework that provides protection for investors and outlines the obligation as an investor in Fiji. In simple terms, there is a need for Fiji to have a modern and comprehensive investment law so that we can attract quality domestic and foreign investments. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Ooh.